Welcome everyone to the Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara with Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about your railroad retirement, you know, your annuity and the federal income taxes associated with it. So it's not really a conversation about rates, it's more about the process of taxation uh, on your railroad retirement annuity. It's not a, it's not a uh, must know subject, but it's a nice to know subject to understand how things are getting taxed uh, on your uh, railroad retirement annuity. So if you're a retiree currently, you're getting a one monthly payment right now. Uh, every month is one check comes from the railroad retirement board. But inside that check, uh, there's two numbers that are generating that monthly uh, uh, check that you're getting, that amount. Uh, first one is your tier one benefit, okay? Uh, you're actually, they, it's referenced as a social security equivalent benefit payment. Uh, that's the tier one. And then your tier two, which would be cleverly named your non-social security equivalent uh, benefit. That's your tier one. So tier one, tier two, right? Those two numbers making up your monthly uh, railroad retirement annuity number. All right. So now it comes at uh, January is coming along, right? You're now going to receive forms from the Railroad Retirement Board or the IRS actually, and they're going to want to get the uh, taxes on that. So even though you're getting one monthly uh, benefit on your retirement, you're going to get two forms, right? And each form is going to represent, uh, represent the tier one and tier two. So on your tier one, you're going to get a form uh, RRB, Railroad Retirement Board, obviously, 1099, okay, and then on your other, f uh, and the other forms can be Form Railroad Retirement Board 1099R, all right, and that's going to represent your Tier 2 uh, portion of uh, your Railroad Retirement Annuity. Now, your Tier 1 is gets taxed, right? That's why it's Social Security equivalent. It can get taxed as a Social Security benefit, right? And you can, uh, to understand that taxation formula, you can go check out my previous videos, uh, Taxes on Your Railroad Retirement Annuity. All right, check that video out. I have it on YouTube. Uh, and that will t uh, walk you through the rates and how all that's calculated, right? And then on your second part, it, uh, the Tier 2 gets taxed as a pension. So basically uh, as income it's income to you. So that's a different uh, taxation rate. Now, what's interesting, uh, especially for you new retirees, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the golden ticket people, as I like to call them, the 60 and 30 people, right? From 60 to 62, uh, even though you're collecting early retirement, all that gets taxed as a pension, um, as pension income. So uh, income, uh, and because your SSEB, Social Security equivalent benefit, doesn't kick in until 62. So I thought that was interesting. That all kicks in uh, at 62 will be that split. But from 60 to 62, it's all income. So that's something to think about. Uh, and there are a couple of things I like just to highlight also is your uh, on the form RRB 1099R. Uh, just box three employee contributions, right? So you see that IRS treats that uh, it's not as a payment. It's actually they consider an investment in in there. So I just just like to bring that up because you, sometimes you see these boxes and you don't know what they mean. But uh, that's so that's basically your tier two uh, investment, right? So you're investing in your annuity, your railroad retirement annuity. So that's box three. Uh, and then one other thing for your uh, retirees from 65 and up, those on Medicare. Uh, other thing I like to note on both forms. So on your uh, RRB 1099, your box 11, your Medicare, that will show you uh, how much has been taken out of your railroad retirement annuity for Medicare. But sometimes, it's interesting, sometimes it's not on this form, it will be on the uh, 1099R uh, and uh, it will be in box 10. So. If you see it, if you don't see it on one form, make sure you have it on the other. So just confirm that it's it's in there uh, for you people on Medicare, and you better be on Medicare at 65 and older. It's the greatest deal going. Um, all right, so I hope that was helpful. It's just kind of in the weeds, little minutia stuff, but you know, as you get your taxes done, uh, I don't know if you do them yourself or you know TurboTax or if you have a CPA. 
you know, everybody's throwing around these numbers and things like that. And it's, it's important to understand what the, all this stuff means. So I hope that helps you out. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll continue to keep uh, posting videos, uh, getting great feedback. I'm sure a lot of people are enjoying them, find them helpful. Um, reach out to me. Uh, you know, I do some free meetings. You know, if you have some issues you want to talk about, I don't do tax preparation. So I'm just telling you that straight out. I don't do that. I like to understand about it, but I don't do preparation. That's a different breed of people. Um, but uh, you can reach out to me free meeting. Uh, we'll talk about some tax planning issues or, you know, retirement planning, that type of thing. Uh, in the meantime, everyone, please stay safe and stay on track and take care. So long, everybody.